All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to back flush a Sawyer mini filter with the Sawyer plunge. Now it's very easy. Uh, normally, I uh, just use normal tap water. It's probably better to use some sort of uh, filtered water, some sort of purified water uh, that's already near sterile. So, I'm just gonna fill up a glass of water, suck up the water with the plunger, syringe, whatever you wanna call it. Now if you don't have one of these, you can always makeshift one obviously, put a tube on the end of it, and then uh, use some sort of other plunger, filter, squeeze device to force water through. Basically what we're trying to do is um, improve the flow of the Sawyer Mini filter because with all the positives there's that one big negative about this is that uh, the flow is not very good. It is smaller so things get clogged up easier. So it's more necessary um, to back flush it every now and then. So hold it on there and press through. I did this on one of my uh, recent backpacking trips and I hadn't done it in quite a while. It was barely trickling for flow rates. And um, when I plunged it, the first one, the water that came out the bottom right here, had a nice brown tint. That made me very satisfied that I was cleaning it up. So yeah, all you need, this, fill up the water. I'll do it one more time real quick. It's not rocket science, is it? No, it's not, not at all. But that's what you need to do. Every time I do it, it's so freaking satisfying. There you go. Get yourself a Sawyer mini filter. It's only about 20 bucks for one of these, a basic kit. It's what I take for my long distance backpacking trips.